Some say that uh, Benjamin Moore is disadvantaged because it doesn't control its own distribution as does Sherwin-Williams, and they note that it has lost market share to Bear, which is sold in the home centers at lower prices. You recently replaced management there. What changes in strategy and or pricing, if any, are being undertaken at that unit, and what is the outlook for that franchise? Benjamin Moore, it, it, it's a relatively small percentage of the total pain industry, but it, 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 at the high end, it is, it is the best regarded paint, and we have not lost uh, position in that respect. But the, when, I, when we purchased Benjamin Moore, I made a promise, I even made a video. Uh, it had a dealer system, and people had invested their uh, savings and passed on from generation to generation dealerships from Benjamin Moore uh, and counted on uh, the company adhering to a dealer system, even though you could always get a huge jump in volume, particularly in the first year, if you went with the big boxes. So the, we were always approached by the big boxes, and they said, you know, let us take Benjamin Moore into our stores, whether it be Home Depot or whomever, and it, we would have gotten a big jump in volume when that happened, and they would have loved us. Uh, to have as, as a brand uh, with that kind of identity uh, in their stores, but it would have represented a total change in the distribution uh, arrangement. I don't think it would have worked out as well over time, and I know it would have been essentially, particularly after my pledge, which the other, which the management pledged too, it would have been double crossing a, a network of dealers that uh, uh, trusted us and uh, trusted us when we bought it to continue uh, uh, with the policy. A dealer policy uh, will work with a, a first-class brand like Benjamin Moore. It will never get the kind of market share as will take a bear, which, which uh, uh, is distributed through Home Depot. We were actually offered bear at one time. And Charlie, you remember that one? Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, but the company uh, was in actually investigating and well on its way to implementing some moves that would have, in effect, gutted uh, or we felt would, 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 would uh, drastically hurt the dealers and violate the pledge that I'd made to them back when we bought it. Uh, so we did have a change there. Uh, and we will, we will not follow the Sherwin-Williams path, which is a very, I mean, it, it, it's a very effective uh, business strategy. I don't, I'm not knocking that at all, but that is not our strategy. Our strategy will be a dealer strategy focused on the high end of the market. And Besides, it's worked very well. Oh, yeah, it's worked well. It'll continue to work well. It doesn't mean that Sherwin-Williams won't do extremely well. I think they will. Doesn't mean the bear won't do well. I think they will. But uh, we are in a different segment, and and it's up to us to to protect and and uh, 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 really foster uh, the dealer distribution network. And I think we can have something, and do have something very special with those dealers and with the position that Benjamin Moore has. But it will not lead to uh, far higher market shares or anything. I think it will lead, and it has, to very decent profitability. Benjamin Moore is a good business, and I think it will continue to be a good business. Charlie? Well, I agree totally. I always wish you could buy five more like it tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>